Hello, students from VETS 104. Um, I just wanted to give this option a try using a different program um, just to review the patient uh, treatment form assignment that was due this past week. Um, most everybody did really, really great. Uh, There's a few little things that I wanted to clarify um, just to make sure that moving forward everyone understands what is important to have on a treatment sheet um, and why it's so important um, moving forward. So in the week eight tab, which is where I am right now, uh, in the monitoring treatments tab, which I have pulled up right here, there is an example of a... So with this example of the treatment sheet, um, basically this is just a version that we use here at Delhi. Um, you're going to see different versions of these out in practice. Um, some of them are a lot more complex. Um, some places are using whiteboards um, just to kind of communicate which animals are on treatments and just kind of putting check marks next to those. Um, because most practices are now paper light or paperless, uh, a lot of your communication for treatments is going to be in your computer program. So that's why it's important that you log in to the computer um, and check that patient's record before you give medications. Uh, just to double check who did what last, what was given, when it was given, the instructions that you need to verify, uh, because obviously you don't want to give a medication that was already given to an animal, or, or you know, if a doctor changed the orders and you're now doing something different. So treatment sheets have been around a long time, um, and like I said, they morph depending on the practice and what you need. Um, this is just a real simple type that we use just to record medications. Um, so you'll see, obviously, all the patient information is at the top. The bottom portion, this allows us to have um, two medications on this sheet, uh, because obviously sometimes they're getting more than one medication. Um, the date column on the left is super, super important. So you want to know, for this animal's record, this piece of paper will get scanned in and attached to our uh, patient's medical record. So this is a legal document, so it needs to be filled out. Um, because a lot of times if we need to go back and double check if a medication was given um, or when it started and ended, we're going to refer to these treatment sheets to really see what is going on. Um, so the dates are of starting and ending are super, super important. Um, the column with the medications. Obviously, the prescription dose that you're giving is important. The amount is important. The rate is super important. Uh, if an animal is only supposed to get a medication once a day, and you end up giving it twice a day on accident, what should we do? Right, we should obviously let somebody know right away. Many times, depending on the medication, we might skip a dose for a day. Um, it's really kind of up to the veterinarian, overseeing the case, what they want to do. Um, if an animal medication is twice a day or three times a day, and we only give it twice a day, do we think it's going to be as effective? No. Obviously, it's prescribed at a rate for a certain reason. If it, we're only giving it twice a day, then the likelihood of the animal healing fast enough, if it was supposed to be a three-time-a-day dose, um, may take longer to heal this patient. Um, you can see on this one that they've crossed out or scribbled out on the once-a-day dosing, um, the AM, so, and then highlighted the PM. So highlighters are awesome, and they are kind of helpful for really making sure whoever's giving the treatment really knows what time of day it's supposed to be given. Um, the time that you gave it and your initials are super important because, again, these are a tracking tool. We need to go back and ask somebody, oh, hey, when you gave that medication, did the animal take it good? Um, did you notice this or that? Um, and then over on the very far right-hand comment, you can make comments. So you can put your TBR comments in there or, you know, took the medication in a meatball of food or with a pill pocket. Um, so that's a really good place to communicate, especially in a larger hospital. Um, and then you can see in the upper right-hand corner, there's a big uh, thing right here. It says treat last. So this animal, apparently we want treated last. Um, for whatever reason, whatever we were doing, we just wanted to make sure that animal was done last. So just key notes there. Okay. So some of these sheets can be a little bit more involved. Um, obviously, you want to make sure that you're following up with the medications and putting any specific notes in the animal's medical record, whether it's paper or computerized. Um, make sure that these are filled out completely. Any blank spots left on these sheets makes 
the next person who comes in or the doctor who reviews the case or the technician feel that nothing was done or nothing uh, was observed. So it's really, really important to fill these out. Super, super important, especially in a facility like ours when you move into next year and we start doing more medications in kennels or during a uh, surgery nursing class to really make sure you have the treatment sheet in front of you and the medication in front of you before you give the treatment. There's so many moving parts to our facility and so many people coming in and out of there that we really need to make sure if a medication was given, you record it right away as soon as you give it. All right, that way the next person that walks in five minutes behind you doesn't go and redose that animal because that's where we have problems. So you have to make sure you have the treatment sheet in front of you and the medication in front of you. Double check, triple check, make sure that it's the right dose, make sure that it's the right time that it should be given and that it wasn't already given. Um, veterinarians will review the completed treatment sheets in our facility. We have a bin that's outside of Elisa's office uh, underneath the animal use board. So we put all completed treatment sheets. When an animal's completed its treatment, the sheet that's fully filled out goes in that bin as well as the finished container that it was in. Then in our facility, uh, shelter medicine class will review those a couple times a week um, and make sure that they get scanned into the records and that we completed the course of action. If there was anything that we wanted to continue, we might renew the prescription, et cetera. Um, obviously, while you're doing a medication, like number four says, if you're concerned that an animal needs immediate attention or a recheck, please find a veterinarian right away or come get a staff member. It's really important that if you don't think an animal is well enough to take a medication or is acting off, you don't just shove a pill down their throat and say, well, good luck. If they're laying, agonal on their side, not breathing well, then we're not going to medicate them with that medication. We're going to double check with uh, somebody before we give that. So that's just my little recap of um, treatment sheets. I'm hoping this was a little good review for you. Please obviously email me any questions that you have and we can go from there.